welcome guys to today's video for today i'm reviewing the highly anticipated starlink kits i received my kits today and i'm very excited to unbox it i've been waiting for this this starlink starts well i call it a revolution in the internet space especially in nigeria i've been using mtn for god knows when and for the past 15 years of mtn being in nigeria they haven't really improved I have MTN 5G and right now the 5G is actually performing very poorly. I really don't understand why MTN has been performing poorly over the years. And I'm hoping that Starlink will bring the competition that they truly need. So let's see what is inside the box. Yep, let's take a look. I have my knife with me. Let's see. This box looks like it has been opened previously before I received it. And the box itself is not looking... Uh, it's looking all uh, poorly handled. I don't know why, but it, what matters is what is inside the box. Now, inside the box, I like uh, the protection it has. It has this... Uh, usually, this is made from recycled material. I don't know whether it's from ocean materials or just regular recycled waste. Nice. I'm so happy that I'm seeing this in person. Yeah, here's the stand. A tripod stand for mounting the device itself. I'm probably not going to use this because I need to mount mine on the roof of my house. Then this is the dish. It's actually heavy. It's heavier than, than what I expected. I've actually seen a lot of people handle this. Uh, I've watched a lot of YouTube channels, seen people handle and mount theirs. Uh, it's actually very heavy. Then, next thing is the internet modem, which is going to connect from the device outside. This one should probably stay indoors. I don't know. Does it have a way to connect to my home router? I wish it does, but I don't see anything yet. But let me keep this aside. And... The wiring, oh, it comes, the wire is actually a lot. I hope it's going to, to run all the way from the roof of my house to where I want to place this. Then finally, what do we have here? We have the manual, probably has a cautions and instruction on how to install. I hope so. That's a lot of manual. Yeah, that's everything in the box. Let's take a look at this. This looks like some manual as well. Hmm. Tomorrow, I'm going to call a technician that is going to install it on top of the roof of my house. I'm probably not going to climb there, but I'll try as much as possible to get some footage on the installation process. And I'll also guide the installer on how to install it without destroying my device. So this is what it looks like installing the device in my roof. I had to build some kind of pool. That it was attached to and the installer is currently installing it. It's kind of hectic, but it's nice. Okay, right now I would like to quickly take a look at the speed test. Uh, let me reload this first. Whenever I reload this, I get this message saying it's looking for optimal server. Uh, I really don't know what that means. Maybe anybody that knows probably have to scoop me out on this. Now let me click on this. I usually get around 200 Mbps per second to a low of 80 Mbps per second, depending on the performance. Uh, right now, I see it's heading towards 200, just like I mentioned. It's pretty much consistent. Then for the upload, I usually get around 50 Mbps per second to as low as 8 Mbps per second, which is pretty much okay when you compare it to what MTN offers, MTN 5G. For my download, I get around between 30 to 50 Mbps, but here I'm getting around 200, which is uh, pretty much fantastic. So I'm going to run this one last time before uh, I close on this. So this is fantastic, 200 and 50 Mbps per second, which is a good performance. So I need to run this again and see how it goes. So, but before I do this, I have to reload this page to make sure that this is going to pick a different server okay 
it's still picked ethel i don't know why it's picking servers to be frank okay let me try this again oh it's actually switched to spectranet and right now it's still heading towards that the same 200 mbps per second download speed which is fantastic okay it's actually doing as well as i expected now for the upload upload is still very much consistent around 50. oh it dropped to 49 but it's still very close all right guys there you have it the speed test for starlink internet and that's it for now So, guys, that's everything for this video. If you liked what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification icon so that next time I drop my video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you and God bless you.